Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to unbox and do a quick review of the Outland Model 870 58,000 BTU Portable Fire Pit. I bought this unit on Amazon Prime for about 120 bucks, and naturally the two day shipping was free. I will be sure to include the Amazon link in the description below. I read many reviews and looked at many models and brands of these types of pits and this is one of the few models to have auto ignition which was a big selling point for me. The package arrived on time and not a minute too soon before we departed for a weekend camping trip. So I am taking this with me and doing the unboxing at the campsite when we get there. When we arrived to the vicinity of the campsite, there was a sign showing that there is an extreme risk of wildfire, but no worries, these are supposedly safe to use during burn bans. So here we are, doing the preliminary setup of the campsite. Now let's get this thing out and see what's in the box. I almost forgot to declare that I am not getting paid by any company to advertise their products or services in the making of this video. Here's the owner's manual. A lid to cover the pit when not in use with a nice logo riveted to the top. There's a web carrying strap and the propane tank stabilizing base. The packaging actually looks pretty good and I remembered reading a lot of Amazon reviews stating that the product arrived dented or damaged, but not this one. And after a bit of a struggle to get it out of the box, we finally have the fire pit itself. The 10 foot hose came neatly wrapped around it. My initial reaction is that everything about this looks like it was crafted with pride. The appearance is really cool with the main body crafted out of steel sporting campfire shaped vent holes on the side and a protective black enamel finish for dependable longevity. If that's not enough, it's got a contemporary decorative stainless steel belt around its waist. The stainless steel burner looks like it is built to last. There are two aluminum plates with serial numbers as well as lighting instructions laser etched into them in multiple languages. The lid fits very well and is secured to the base with web straps which include a carrying handle. Pretty clever design, eh? At 19 inches in diameter, it is about 5 inches smaller than many of these pits made by the same brand, but 58,000 BTUs seems to be the common denominator with all of them, so I bought this one with the extra portability in mind. Also included in the box are four bags of lava rock, and as the instructions state, there are two medium bags that get dumped in first, and then the bag of large rocks. There is a fourth bag of spare rocks. I personally do not own a spare rock containment facility, so I am going to chance adding these four rocks to the rest of them. So we hooked up the propane tank, and we are ready to give it a light. To do this, you just slowly turn the knob counterclockwise with the gas on. You will hear a bit of a hiss followed by the electronic ignition crack and the flame will engulf the lava rocks. You can then adjust your desired flame height. Of course, myself being a borderline pyromaniac chose the highest setting. Although I have no way of testing if we have all 58,000 BTUs, I will say it is pretty damn warm. The fire somehow seemed to make my beer taste more crisp and refreshing than normal. It seems to create the perfect ambiance to share stories and good times. I will now look forward to make new memories with family and friends in comfort and style. During its flagship burn, I never thought to time how long a 20 pound tank of propane would last. But we got a few hours that night and another hour or so in the morning before the tank finally crapped out. Not too bad considering the convenience and simplicity. As far as the good, the bad and the ugly go with this thing, I really can't say that I can think of anything bad or ugly about it. There are many nice things about a real wood campfire and I am not going to say that this unit is a substitute for tradition, but it has many awesome attributes. It is very portable, it looks very stylish, and you can use this fire pit during burn bands. It is convenient being that you can turn it off and not worry about it burning the woods down if you walk away for a bit. For as long as we used it in this one spot, you can see that it did not do any noticeable damage to the grass or the dry leaves lying directly underneath it. It undoubtedly makes beer taste better and is easy to light no matter how wet it is outside. Even if it uses a 20 pound propane cylinder per night, I would say that it is decently cost effective to run. There is no smoke, which means you will not be constantly moving to keep smoke out of your eyes, and lastly, you won't wake up the following morning smelling like a forest fire. I would definitely recommend this product. If you 
you found this video helpful and entertaining, please click the thumbs up and share it with your friends. You might want to consider subscribing if you haven't already as it doesn't cost you a dime. And click the bell to be notified for future uploads. If you've done all of that or none of that, it's all good. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.